Hi everyone, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here in Baltimore, the site of the 2011 MLS Super Draft. And I'm here with Sounders FC head coach Ziggy Schmidt. And Ziggy, first of all, uh, you know, big trip uh, down to Florida, now up to Baltimore. What, what did you see down in Florida? Well, I know I had to pack a lot of clothes because it was very warm down in Florida and it's very cold up here, but uh, it was good. You know, I was uh, the combine over three games. You sort of get to see where people fall uh, at a different level of uh, competition and, and the opponents that they're playing against. And usually somebody has a good game here or there, but over three games, they usually show what their true value is. So it was very good. It was very informative. You've talked about the depth of this draft. You guys have five picks over the three rounds. How important is that? than to have that flexibility as well as, uh, as uh, a deep draft that you're going to have some players to choose from here. Well, obviously the depth's important, and uh, you know we feel that there's a, that there's a number of players that are that are maybe maybe pretty comparable once you get beyond the top six, and so having those picks uh, land us some good players. But it also gives us gives us the flexibility of being able to package some picks together to maybe move up. Uh, maybe it allows us uh, you know to package some picks or to sell some picks for for uh, for allocation money you know there's all, all kinds of things you do if you have something that's an asset uh, you know somebody might be interested in it so there's things you could do to help our club and 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 for us to come out of this draft in the best possible scenario what, what is the best possible scenario uh, for the Sounders coming out of this draft <laughs> if we could trade all our picks and move up to number one would be the best <laughs> possible scenario uh, you know but for us you know if we can uh, we can add some depth to our team add some quality players this is the year that the rosters expand and uh, you know so you gotta find some college players who are willing to fill out uh, those gaps for the reserve team guys with potential guys that can move on uh, you know we you know we certainly could use some cover at certain positions uh, you know with the loss of Santa with the loss of uh, Sturgis uh, you know we've got got you know uh, outside back we can always use a little more depth in you know wide players uh, so you're always looking for that but at the end of the day if somebody's on the board that we think is an unbelievable player and he's a forward uh, you know that's also something that we're going to take if he's a creative midfielder we're going to take him we, we always try and take the best player available when we can lastly it's uh, kind of an eventful weekend for you as well uh, talk about what you're going to be doing on Saturday accepting uh, a lifetime achievement award here yeah, that means I've done a lot of stuff, somebody <laughs> said, or I've been around long enough to have maybe done a lot of stuff. No, it's, it's a tremendous honor. Well, Chiswitz uh, is the guy who started the, uh, the U.S. soccer coaching schools along with Detmar Kramer. Uh, he was one of the first U.S. national team coaches. I know the first youth team I had, I had two of my youth players actually play for Walt at, at the, at the under-20 level. Uh, Walt was the one who put me on onto the U.S. soccer staff. Uh, you know, he was a great coach at Wake Forest, and, uh, and uh, it was probably ironic, but I actually had seen him play when I was 11 years old, so uh, Walt was a little older than me. So, uh, but it's, uh, it's a great honor because when you look at the history of the people who have, run, who have won that award, like Bruce Arena and Jerry Yeagley and Anson Dorrance, uh, it's sort of like the who's who of, of soccer, and to be included in that group is a great honor. Practiced your speech yet? Uh, I've got some things down, but right now my thoughts are on the draft, so I'll practice my speech after the draft. Great. Well, the draft will start at 9 o'clock. You can watch it live on ESPN, or also right here on SoundersFC.com. For Ziggy Schmidt, I'm Matt Gash from Baltimore, Maryland. Thanks for joining us.